In this video, I want to talk about the common misconception that short copy converts better than long copy. So this applies to you if you use any type of sales messages in your business, right? If you use video or written text to try and convert people, to try and persuade people to buy something from you, especially if you're running a coaching business or an expert business and you're using either videos or long form sales letters to convince people, pay close attention because this is going to apply to you. But even if it doesn't apply 100% to you, I promise you, you're going to get some good insights from this video. So in recent years, there's been this myth that you need to have short videos and short sales letters because they convert better. And that's completely wrong. And the reason why people started uh, giving out this false information is because everyone knows that attention spans have become shorter. So people then rationalized that, well, if people can't pay attention anymore, then almost nobody is going to read your sales letters or watch your sales videos. So then people concluded, well, let's make our videos short. Let's write super short sales copy because that way, you know, people can actually consume the whole message and it's within their attention span. Now, here's why this is false. So the job of your sales letters, of your sales videos is not to convert everyone. And that's where people make this mistake in terms of thinking about copy. People that aren't experienced with copy always think that the job of your sales videos and your sales texts, texts and your sales copy is to convert everyone, to persuade everyone to buy from you. And that's not the case. In fact, 99% of people should be repelled by your sales message. Your sales videos and your sales letters should only speak to the exact type of client or customer that you want to sell to. So it's not unusual that most people will not read your sales letter. And that's how it's meant to be. Most people will never read your sales letter, right? I've used these long sales letters in my business, sometimes 14 pages, sometimes 20 pages. And it's true. Most people never read these long sales letters. The same with videos, right? I've had sales videos as long as 40 minutes. And I can see in the stats, right? I use Vistia, which is a, a video hosting platform. And you get these insights and you can see in the stats that most people drop off in the first couple of seconds. So the stats, the curve looks somewhat like this. Most people drop off in the first couple seconds and then more and more people drop off. And then there's this small percentage of people who watch the entire 40 minute video until the very end. So here's the deal. When you're trying to sell anything through video or written text, you need to speak directly to the clients or customers who are the hottest, who have a high buying temperature. So buying temperature means um, someone is ready and eager to buy something. Someone has a high pain point, right? Someone really wants to own a product, solve a problem or achieve a certain outcome. When people are in that state, and that's only going to be a small percentage of all the people who read your sales letter or watch your videos, those people need all the information that they can get to make a decision. So your sales letters, your sales videos aren't aimed at the masses and they should never be aimed at the masses. They should be aimed at convincing, persuading and converting the one to 10% of people who are really eager to buy, who are ready to make a decision, who have a high buying temperature, because these people need all the information. They need to have the complete story in terms of 
what's involved, what the benefits of your products are, the features, what they're getting, and everything. And the more you can tell them to make them understand logically and emotionally that they need this product and that they want this product, well, the higher the likelihood that these people are gonna buy. So your sales videos and your sales letters need to be written for these people. That's why long copy and long sales videos tend to do better statistically and outperform short videos and short copy. Because you have to understand that um, when you're doing short videos in short copy, yes, more people will consume the whole piece of uh, copy, right? The whole video, the whole letter. But the 1% to 10% of people who really need more information, they will not really get all the information, the persuasion, all the reasons why they should buy. So the goal of your, your copy, your, your sales letters and your videos isn't to get a 100% view rate or to have everyone consume the whole copy. If you come from that perspective, you're thinking of sales copy the wrong way. You don't understand the purpose of sales copy. The purpose of sales copy is to sell to the 1% to 10% of people who are ready to be sold to. In the other 90%, we don't, we don't care about them at that point. In fact, you want to repel those people who aren't ready to, to buy anyways. So we know, and this has been proven, you know, by advertising agencies in the past, you know, way, way, way back, like 20, 30 years ago, where these ad agencies, these direct response advertising agencies started using longer and longer copy. Right? First it was like uh, one page ads, then it was two page ads, then it was like five minute videos, 10 minute videos, and then like more and more and more. And there's been this experience that whenever they doubled the length of the video or of the sales letter, it did better. More people bought, right? And this confuses a lot of people because as attention spans get smaller and shorter every year, Long form copy and long videos still work really well and outperform short copy in almost all cases. Again, because you're not trying to tailor your sales copy, your videos, your texts on your website, your sales messages to the masses and to people's ever shorter attention spans, but rather you're trying to give those people who are ready all the reasons they need to go ahead and buy. Because I promise you one thing, the people who are ready to be sold, the people who want to buy, who have a high buying temperature, they will consume every last bit of your sales letter. They will watch the entire 40 minute sales video. They will rewatch it again and again. And a good example for this is webinars, right? Webinars have been used over and over again and they're proven to sell uh, products, especially information products. So for example, you know, if you think about Russell Brunson's um, webinars, right, he's famous for growing click funnels. Um, I think it's the fastest um, growing non-venture um, capital backed startup company. I think they, they uh, scaled it to a hundred million or something per year using a webinar in the beginning. And it's a famous webinar. It's a funnel hacks webinar. Now, that webinar is, I think, about one and a half to two hours long. So think about that. You know, the people who are not ready to be sold, they will drop off during these webinars. They will just uh, leave, they will get bored, but those are not the people who buy. But there's a small percentage of people who watch the entire webinar. They stay until the very end for the Q&A session. They stay for one and a half hours, two hours, and they need all that extra time, all those extra reasons to make a decision. And the longer these webinars are from experience, the more people buy. So Russell Brunson kept making his webinars longer and longer, doing the Q&A sessions at the end of the webinar for more and more time because more and more sales came in the more time he spent with the webinar. And he ended up doing these long 
webinars, you know, for literally two hours, two and a half hours, and they convert really well, right? Because again, he's not thinking in terms of who, uh, who are the masses and tailoring the sales message to people's attention spans. He is literally tailoring it to the people who have a high buying temperature and who need all those extra reasons before they're ready to buy. And that will increase your conversion rate and get you more sales. So I hope with that we can once and for all bust this myth that short copy converts better than long copy. It's not the case. The data has proven this over and over again from experience. I know that it's not the case. You know, all the big marketers know it's not the case. It's just people who don't understand um, psychology, who are kind of using this attention span uh, concept the wrong way and applying it to marketing and then causing all this confusion and, and these, these false, you know, this misinformation about uh, copy and how it's meant to convert. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're an expert, a coach, a consultant, or someone who has a lot of expertise and wants to learn how to package and then sell your expertise as an expert and build an expert business around that, then I would like to invite you to a free one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me personally where we map out in detail how to do that and come up with a custom plan for you to launch and sell your own online courses and programs and do so in a really profitable way. Now, this is not for everyone. This isn't gonna apply to you unless you have a lot of expertise, unless you have something epic to teach, and unless you wanna build a really profitable expert business. But if that's you, and if this resonates with you, and you would like to learn how to sell your knowledge, and first and foremost, how to package your knowledge, and then launch and sell your knowledge the right way in the form of online courses, programs, information products, and do that in a really profitable way, then I'll put a link in the video. Somewhere there should be a link up here on one of these sites and also in the description. So go ahead, book a call. There's gonna be a little form that you can fill out um, with a couple questions for me to get some context and then we'll get on a one-on-one -on -one strategy session and map out everything for you in detail. It's gonna be value packed and it's gonna help you tremendously. So if you're an expert, if this makes sense for you, and if this resonates with you, then go ahead, book that call, and I'm looking forward to speaking with you one-on-one. -on -one.